All right, ready to go here. So in now for Cleveland, Ahmed Rosario. Misses inside. And we are underway in game one of the series. The 1 0. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead and counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Marte throws the first in time. One out in the top of the first. Chris Taylor now. That's in there. That's strike one. Lynn, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a sinker, a curve, and he works in a slider. And the right-hander deals. Now Whoa, one and one. Down. And a swing and a miss there. One ball. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. And down on strikes. And there's two down. On uh, the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. And now it's going to be Jose Ramirez. All one for count. Well, Jose Ramirez had a sensational 2018 season. He became just the eighth player ever to have a season with 30 doubles, 30 homers, 30 steals, and walking more than he struck out. Next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And that is that. This is Charlie Culberson to hit. The wine and the pitch. Upstairs. Shane Bieber, former fourth round pick out of UC Santa Barbara. He's won a Cy Young Award, the pitching triple crown, and became the first pitcher in Cleveland history to win a gold glove. Not bad. Yeah, I'm a little surprised by that last one being the first one to win a gold glove with the great pitchers that they've had over time in Cleveland. Strike two. Clearly, he was sitting two on a strike. fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Got him. One gone, bottom half of the first. Now the left fielder, Yoshida. Strike one. On one. That's through there for a strike. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, the bad news is that pitch wasn't close. The good news, they're set up to turn two and get out of the inning. And now it's Juan Soto. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Chris, Juan Soto is one of the best young hitters we've seen come along in a long time. Of course, Helped the Nationals to win the World Series in 2019, and he won the batting title. Hit 351 in that shortened 2020 season. That one fouled off. Well, I mean, his at bats are so quality. We talk about professional hitter, professional at bats. He gives those to you all the time. I just love his play coverage. That's Not afraid to use the opposite field. And when you have a guy that can do that, he's going to hit a whole lot in terms of slog, average, on base percentage as well. Next one misses, and the count is three and one. Good plate no appearance there. Ball. Able to take the walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. So one out with two aboard. Matt Carpenter getting ready to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. One out, runners at first and second. The ball. next pitch misses, and one that one. is ball one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Oh. 
Right-hander kicks, deals. He goes down looking. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Late swing, foul to the left. offering is in for a strike two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count if you're up there at the plate you got to look up in the zone and now ah, that's strike three and the third out so we take a break here at Wrigley Field top of the second and now it's Christian Walker Pitch misses inside, ball one. You know, Christian Walker, a guy who had a really successful amateur career, his college ball with the South Carolina Gamecocks, they won the College World Series twice with Walker, and he tied the College World Series record for most career hits with 28. Next offering misses, and a count two and one. Two balls, one strike. Good eye right there. Good fastball there. I think it was a purpose pitch. Just want to make that hitter's feet uncomfortable. And that location will definitely do it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Now here is Jared Walsh. Hit on the ground, might be two. Feeds to second, out there. Relay to first, double play. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Lance Lynn, former first-round pick by the Cardinals. He went to Old Miss and was drafted in 2008. And, of course, when he was a rookie in 2011, he helped the Cardinals win a World Series. Tap back to the mound. Tosses to first. That's the third out. Bottom of the second. So up now for Chicago, Sam Hilliard. Strike on the outside corner. And it's 0-1. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Inside, just missed. Just Whoa, off the outside the part of the plate. And that's Whoa. ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Wilson Contreras has put together a pretty special career. Multiple times he's been an all-star and a guy that came up in the Cubs system as an infielder. Yeah, now the 01. Called strike right there. Yeah, very athletic catcher. And the thing about it is offense is probably what he's most known for coming out of that position behind the dish. And this that one ripped. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. How about Wilson and William getting a chance to start and hit back-to-back -back in the 2022 All-Star Game in L.A.? That must have been cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And these two guys have a chance to be like the Molina brothers. And a 1-2. And that's outside. with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here and the pitch got him swinging he swung over top of the curveball batting it the batter now Javier Baez the kick of the pitch runner goes ball outside has some trouble with it Runner at second here, one gone. Oh, 
Nope. Next offering That's upstairs. Good eye right there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Yandy Diaz now. In there, and it's 0-1. Righty to the plate. And that one wrapped foul. And he'll two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Here's the 0 2. That's a ball. Hilliard, the lead runner out at second. Bias over at first with one away. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. And now two gone. And here's the first baseman, Charlie Culberson. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. There's a strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. This one popped up. And that is the inning. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Stepping up for the Guardians. Dalton Varsho in the air left side. Yoshida under it. Makes the catch for the out. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. In there for strike one. Farmer will handle the catching duties in this one in the eighth spot in today's lineup. And he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2013. That's off the mark. One and one. Top of the third. No score. Ground ball left side. And it gets by him. Just one of those seeing high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Here's Kike Hernandez. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first, and he went around according to Clyde Washington. And a foul ball. The pitch. And now one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. And here is Ahmed Rosario. And that one is lifted in the air. Hilliard drifts towards it. 
He's got it. And that is out number three. Yoshida digs in now. Bieber back to work. And a foul ball. You know, these Cubs showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. The pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that one handled. Fires over to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpire and crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game. And the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. One down, base is empty. Aye. One ball, one strike. Bounce to third. Ramirez sends it to first. And that quickly, two away. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. That's Off the mark there. Ball two. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Pitch misses, and now 3 0. On the corner for a strike. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. They just keep handing out gifts, boo. Were we supposed to bring something? See, I think just our presence is the present. Here's Cattel Marte. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. New inning getting started. So in now for Cleveland, Chris Taylor. First pitch, just misses. And here it comes. And that's in for a strike. A rope into right, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double in the fourth. The batter, the third baseman. Okay. Here's Jose Ramirez. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. He's 0 for 1. Runner at second, nobody out. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind Order's them. One. This is where they need to get going. Here's a 1 to 1. Baez. The throw to first, oh. and Ramirez is set down. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Christian Walker. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Swing and a miss. Going one. One out, and a runner at second. Next offering is down low. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Man at second. Foul ball still a one and two count. And the one two misses to even the count. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. 
stays alive. Taylor leads off second with one gone in the inning. That misses the zone. And a full count now. That's a really good take. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Jared Walsh digs in for the Guardians. That misses. Ball one. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. 2013 in the playoffs. You caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Out towards left center. And that'll fall for a base hit. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. That ball right there landed in what they call the no-man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. they got to go a long way as well. Here comes a pinch. That one, one missed. Just missed. And the righty deals. Fouls one away and now three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Baez puts the squeeze on that one. That is the inning. Back here at the friendly confines. Bottom of the fourth. And now the center fielder, Sam Hilliard. Nope. That just misses. And that's Not ball one. Up. Kicks and deals. There's the swing in a miss. Yeah, there's a ball. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Yeah, there's ball four. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but his command in this one just seems off out there. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. He was late there. Strike one. The Cubs still looking for their first hit in this one. That misses the zone. And one and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. And now two and one. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Nobody out. Runner at first. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. The pitch. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. Now it's Javier Baez. He reached out a walk his first time. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. They say it went. Oh, two is the count. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Oh, 
That one inside. It's a ball and two strikes. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. On the ground, could be two. Beat the second, that's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. So up next, Yandy Diaz. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Fought off foul. Bieber checks the runner. Baez back in safely. Baez off the of first with two away. Slapped foul. Bieber throws over. Baez back in on a dive. Baez runs. Pitch misses. One ball. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning. And now it's Dalton Varsho. And first offering is fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Oh, and two now. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And next is the Guardians catcher, Kyle Farmer. And Cleveland on top wants it. Nope. Just oh. missed. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. And the 1 0. Hey. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's two away. Now here is Enrique Hernandez on the ground to third. Tosses to first. Guardians go down in order. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. So up now for Chicago, Yandy Diaz. And that's outside. That's in there. And the count one and one. Next offering is foul back. The wind of the pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Next pitch is popped up. Rosario makes the catch, and there's one gone. And the batter now, Charlie Culverson. And fouled off. You'll want. And a big swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. That no one ball. just misses. Fly ball down the line. Pulls up and it drops for a hit. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Just a blue pick behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder, so he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Yoshida, the next to hit, takes ball one. Pitch misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. There's a strike. Swings through that one out in front that time. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. 
Culberson, the base runner at first with one out. That one hit to right. Walsh glides to his left. Hauls it in for the out. Here's Juan Soto. This guy has turned into a beast. And that one a little bit high. Chris Soto was a runner-up for the National League Rookie of the Year in 2018 to Ronald Acuna Jr. And then a runner-up for the MVP in 2021 to Bryce Harper. Is this a guy you think could win an MVP somewhere down the line? No, oh, I expect him to. And not just one. I think more than one oh. MVP considering how young he was when he got to the big leagues. Just 19. 2-0. And he takes a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Left-hand hitter waits. Still two and two after the foul ball. Left-hand batter waits. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Next offering is foul back. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. And he walked him. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Now it's back Carpenter, and that's in for a strike. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. More and more guys are looking to slog regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. First and second, two down. Next pitch misses. Now one and two. They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. And that is in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Rosario, in his sixth season, 27 years old, he's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. Next pitch is outside, and that's ball one. And another ball. The 2-2. High fly ball out to center field. Baez makes the grab. One down. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me out. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Taylor goes six foot one, 195 pounds, and they traded for him earlier this year. Hit in the air, right field. Puts it away for the out. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Now it's Jose Ramirez. And that's in there for strike one. You know, see, Jose Ramirez signed that big extension, a five-year, $124 million contract before the 2022 season. But right before that happened, the Guardians came this close to trading him. Soto going after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. Well, 
One run game. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Missing inside. One and oh. Kicks and fires. There's the strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Out to short. Rosario tosses the first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now, Sam Hilliard. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a poor stroke. Contreras in the box now. Takes strike one. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. On the ground, a short could be two. Over to Taylor. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Back here at Wrigley Field. We go to the top of the seventh. Now the four-hole hitter for the Guardians. Christian Eight. Walker. Strike on the Going outside. One. Going one. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Oh, no. Got him looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. And now the right fielder, Jared Walsh. And there's the strike. Foul ball there. <laughs> Lifted in the air, right center field. Soto gets under it. And a couple of quick outs. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Next offering is foul back. And a pitch. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground to the left. Whips it to first. That's out number three. And welcome back. And now the shortstop, Javier Baez. Bieber back to work. There's a strike. there at the knees it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today good fastball swing and a miss struck him out slider got him for strike three now it's going to be yandy diaz and first offering is fouled off the tying run at the plate that catches the top part of the zone and that's strike two outside well that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch and he deals fights that one away still one and two lifted in the air down the left side and it falls 
And now the lineup turns over with one away. The Guardians going with a new pitcher, Trevor Steffen. He last pitched two days ago. Your attention, please. Now pitching for a season. Number 37, Trevor Steffen. Now at the plate, Charlie Culberson. And a sack bunt here. Taylor. Now the throw to first on the run. Out on the sack bunt. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. And the batter now, Yoshida. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. That one off the mark, and now 2-0. Hit. Here comes the runner. Here's the throw. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Ryan Stanek. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Now pitching for the Cubs, number 45. Wrong. Stepping up for the Guardians, Dalton Varsho. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And here it comes. Oh, All one there. Catches the zone, and it's one and one. The one one is fouled off. One two now. Swings and misses. Some high cheese for strike three. Kyle Farmer will hit next. Inside and it hit him. Well, he just couldn't get out of the way of that one, and that's not an easy thing to do when you've got a fastball coming in high. Here's the center fielder, Enrique Hernandez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right-hander deals. Got him swinging. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. And a little something extra at stake in this at-bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. Farmer off of first with two away. And now the count is even. One and one. There's a strike. Struck him out swinging. The high heat too much on that one. So Cleveland brings on a new reliever, Sam Hentges. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Juan Soto now. And a pitch. And there's a strike.
In the air, out towards right center. Hernandez sizing it up. Racing makes the catch. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Lefty continues to work with the closer getting loose in the bullpen. That misses, and the count is one and one. They say it went. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Pitch misses there. Two balls, two strikes. Next offering is fouled back. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And up next for Chicago, Cattell Marte. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And there's a strike. Fastball for a strike. And the count one is ball. one and two. two Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. Another one, two. And now two and two. Ooh, I thought he'd bite right there. The 2-2. Caught him looking for the K. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Jimmy Nelson. On for the 30th time this year. Nelson. Well. One run game. Now it's the second baseman, Chris Taylor. There's a strike. On one. And that one missing Damn. low. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that's the first out. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Stepping in, Jose Ramirez. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next pitch oh, is inside, off. and that is ball one. That's Good eye right there. The two one. Gloves it on the dive to first, and that's a great play for the out. The and up next for Cleveland, Christian Walker. That Whoa, misses. Ball one. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Next one misses, and the count is 2-0. Swings and fouls one off. Up the middle. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Now back. Right here. Jared Walsh digs in for the Guardians. 
Yeah. That one's in there, 0 and 1. 0 oh, 1 for count. Walker, the runner at first with two gone. Way inside, Perfect. and that hit him. Well, that kind of hurts because it puts a runner in scoring position with two away, but it's all about turning the page right here. Got to shake it off and figure out a way to get that last out. Next to hit, Nick Castellanos. Nice. In there, and it's 0-1. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. They say you win. Castellano swings and lifts a high fly ball. Deep left field. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Here comes Emmanuel Classe out of the bullpen. 29 saves on the season, so he's looking for number 30 right here. He's been big for him in the back of that bullpen. Number 48, Emmanuel Classe. So digging in, Sam Hilliard. The pitch. Awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. That one out to right. Walsh under it. Squeezes it. And there's one away. Wilson Contreras, the next Cub to hit. In there for strike one. And he pumps it a strike. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Got him swinging for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. So now pinch hitter for the Cubs, Rafael Ortega. Trying to get something going for him with two away. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Swung on, belted. Hernandez going back on this one. Hits the fence. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Put a really beautiful swing on that pitch right there. Just didn't quite have the combination of launch angle and exit velocity to drive it over the wall. But when you can beat a center fielder like that, you know you hit it well. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is where they earn their keep. Here's a one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And that'll do it. The Guardians hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game. First for the victorious Cleveland Guardians. One run, four hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Cubs, no runs, five hits, 